Hello everyone, this is the video introduction for PH 561 final project, the adhesive force measurement of poly multi multilayers. First I'm going to talk about some backgrounds and then how, how to do this experiment and then the conclusion. Poly electrolytes are polymers with charged repeating units. Poly electrolyte multilayers are a layer by layer structure that is synthesized by alternating deposition of polycations and polyions. This is a sketch of how to synthesize poly electrolyte multilayers. By alternating deposit polycations and polyions on the substrate, you can get one bilayer and repeat this process, you can get multiple bilayers. The poly electrolyte multilayers we use is PDIDMAC with PSS for five, five bilayers and PI with PSS for five bilayers. PDIDMAC and PSS, they are both strong poly electrolytes and PI, it is a weak poly electrolyte. Strong poly electrolyte means the charge density along the main chain is high, and weak poly electrolyte means it has low charge density. The experiment is to indent the multilayer structure to get the force curves data, and then get the surface adhesive force by force curve interpretation. These are AFM images of two poly electrolyte multilayers on the substrate. There is no big difference between these two images. This is because the thickness of the multilayer coating is around only 10 nanometers. So the surface morphology is mainly dependent on the substrate. This is a force curve interpretation result. From the result, we can see that the adhesive force from strong and strong poly electrolyte couple is higher than the adhesive force from strong and weak polyelectrolyte couple. To summarize, the PM synthesized by strong polycations and strong polyions showed higher adhesive force than PM synthesized by weak polycations and strong polyions. But in this experiment, we only tested two spots on the substrate. To get more convincing result, we need to test more spots and collect more data. And in the future work, the coating would be better if it can be deposited on a more flat surface to eliminate the effect of the substrate roughness. At last, this is our team, Anthony, Lou, and Mengxuan. Thank you.